Hello YouTube, Tableau is a game changer when it comes to data visualization and in this video I'll take you on a journey through creating an interactive and dynamic dashboard that provides invaluable insights into Nike sales data. Whether you are a data enthusiast, a business professional or a curious about the magic of visual analytics, this video is a must watch. In this tutorial, we will build an end-to-end -end interactive Nike sales dashboard which will be beginner friendly and help you give a detailed hands-on experience. Before starting this video, please do subscribe my channel and hit that notification bell and let's get started. Now talking about the data we have, we have invoice date, the date on which the product was sold, then we have product categories like men's apparel, then we have women's apparel, we have men's athletic footwear and etc. Then we have region, region can be a, sub, a broad category of state we have, we have regions like northeast, southeast, south, west etc. Then we have a retailer, through which retailer the particular product was sold, was it sold by a foot locker, whether through Amazon, Walmart, Westgear. Then we have sale method, whether the product was sold in store, online or through an outlet. Then we have state information, we have price per unit. Then we have total sales in dollars and finally we have unit sold. So basically if you divide total sale by unit sold, we'll be getting basically a price per unit. So that's all about the data we have and now let's jump towards creating our amazing Nike sales dashboard. Now we are into our Tableau public interface and now considering my data is in CSV format, I'll be clicking on this text file to import my CSV input data. You can see Nike data set and I'll be clicking on this data. And now we are onto our data source pane. I can see a brief preview about my data on this pane and I can also change my fields in advance. Now let's click on sheet number one to start building our visuals. Now let's start our first visualization by creating a geographic map which in which I'll try to compare what was the total sales generated by each of the state. I have a state information over here which is in dimensions and total sales in measures. You can closely see my state is in geographic data type. I'll try to drag my state in my draw field here and you can see none of my data is getting mapped to my country which is United States. I'll click on this 48 unknowns, click on the edit locations and you can see by default the data has been tagged to India while my data is from United States. So I need to change country from India to United States and hit OK. And now you can see all my state data has been correctly mapped to my country, which is United States. Now what I can do, uh, since I want to compare total sales, I'll bring my total sales in my color. And instead of some aggregation, I'll change the aggregation to average because that will be getting or giving us a better picture as we are creating this dashboard for Nike and usually the brand color is black or white or orange or white. So I'll be quickly changing this color from blue palette to orange palette and click on apply. Now what additionally you can do is you can drag your total sales in labels so that your labels are appeared over here. You can also add your states to your labels so that it becomes visually appealing. And also you can reduce a size a little bit or font a little bit from 9 to 7. Click on apply. Now, what you can do is, let's say you're not interested in these background grade map areas. So to reduce or to remove them, you can click on map, you can click on, click on map layers, and you can bring this wash out from 0% to 100% so that all those grade map areas will be disappeared and it looks visually appealing. Now it's on you whether you want these map labels or not. If you don't want these map labels, you can deselect the show map labels and that's it. So that's all for your for our first visual and now let's move towards our second visual and before moving towards second visual let's rename this map as uh, state wise total sales hit enter and now let's move towards our sheet number two now for the second visualization what we'll do is we'll compare the total sales generated by each of the sale method. We have basically three sale method, which is online, we have outlets and we have in store. So I'll bring my sale method in my columns and I'll bring total sales in rows. So I'll try to create or generate a donut chart out, out of it since we have only three categories. And for these, either pie chart or donut chart will be best to visualize our 
uh, data now i can click on show me to get some more recommended charts and i can click on pie chart and i can click on entire view so that i can occupy the entire space now this is a pie chart but i want a donut chart so what i can do is i can click on calculated field i can click and create a new measure or calculation as minimum and i'll enter one and hit ok now i'll bring minimum in my rows change this aggregation to minimum now again i'll follow the same procedure again i'll bring this minimum in my rows i'll change this aggregation to minimum and next thing what i'll do is i'll click on dual axis so in this dual axis both of my axes get into one view and i'll hide this headers now you can see what happened is both of these views have been overlapped in form of two layers and one by one so what i can do is i can re remove all the contents from my second layer and i will increase the size of my first layer a little bit more than the second layer and i will change the color from gray to white so that we can visualize this as a dotted chart i'll also remove the grid lines rendering and background now i'll quickly change the color combination from these random colors to orange shade of oranges since we are dealing with brand as nike i'll click on assign palette and click on apply i'll quickly rename the sheet to to total sale by sale method and i think it will make more sense if i change aggregation from sum to average again so i'll replace aggregation from sum to average now lastly i'll add labels i'll put my I'll drag my total sales in my labels and put my sale method in my labels now here again i'll change my aggregation from sum to average i'll click on my labels to format my labels i'll reduce my font to 8 and replace tableau book to tableau medium and i'll keep this form throughout the tableau dashboard click on ok and your sheet number two your second visualization is ready and let's quickly move towards our sheet number three now if you closely see our data i have invoice date and i have total sales so obviously i can plot something through which i can see a trend of total sales over the years or over the months i also have another measures like unit sold or price per unit now what if i create a visualization which will give a trend of total sales as well as units sold along with each other so that i can compare both of these measures simultaneously so we'll be working on that so firstly i'll put my invoice date over here in my columns and i'll replace the format to month so that i'll be converting this into a measure and here i'll be putting my total sales so you can see a line chart has been automatically plotted again i'll put my unit sold besides total sales and i'll replace the aggregation from sum to average both in unit sold and in total sales now here i'll be using a concept of dual axis so in dual axis we basically combine both the axis like we did in pie chart so that we can compare both the measures simultaneously i'll right click on this average store unit sold and click on dual axis and here i'll hide the header here you can also synchronize your axis if you observe closely your total sales have, have an access with a frequency 0 200 400 while your access of average unit sold is with a frequency 0 5 and 10 as soon as you click on synchronize access your access of both the measures get synchronized with each other like 200 value is getting synchronized with 200 but in this case i'll be disabling synchronize access instead i'll be adding labels in my line chart so that user will be able to compare both of these measures simultaneously with the following trend i'll quickly remove these headers you can remove the headers by right clicking and deselecting the show headers on both the sides and now i want to change the format of dates so for that you can just click on this drop down of this month and click on format in the access pane you can click on dates and you can choose any format of date you want you can click this or you can keep it as 14 march 2021 or anything or you can use also use a custom format here i'll be replacing 
the dates with a custom format mmm and yy and i think this format looks much better i'll remove the header like month of invoice date and i'll quickly replace the colors of my chart to an orange palette and click on assign palette and click on apply I'll quickly rename the sheet number three as unit sold and total sales trend and finally what I'll do is I'll add labels so for adding labels you need to add individual labels to individual line charts so here for this total sales you need to drag labels as total sales change aggregation to average now move towards unit sold and bring your unit sold into your labels and change the aggregation to an average again now if you observe our font size of the labels are too large so you can remove so you can reduce the font size to make it more clearer for your users now again i'll remove the grid lines which are entering in background click on format go into lines click on rows and remove these grid lines i have reduced the font and also replaced the font from tableau book to tableau medium and that's it for your sheet number three our third visualization now let's move towards our fourth visualization so here i'm planning to plot a simple bar chart where we can present what are the what is the total generated profit or what is the total generated sale by each of the retailer so we have a lot of retailers right we have amazon we have walmart so what were the total sales generated by each of the retailers and we'll sort it in descending wise so let's quickly build that chart i'll bring my retailer in my columns and i'll bring my total sales in my rows i'll re replace my aggregation to average and flip an axis and click on entire view so that i can consume the whole view now here i'll remove the rendering grid lines again click on format go in lines click on columns and remove these grid lines now here i want to sort this based on in decreasing order like the retailer having maximum total sales will be on the top and vice versa i'll click on sort i'll click on sort by field and then i'll click on total sales and aggregation should be average i'll click on descending order so that my maximum my retailer having maximum total sales will be in the top and retailer with minimum total sales will be on the bottom i'll remove this axis by deselecting show headers instead i'll add my labels over here so i'll add my label by putting total sales in my labels i'll replace my aggregation from sum to average now again i'll reduce the font like which i did for my previous visualizations like reducing my font to 8 and replacing tableau book to tableau medium click on apply i'll quickly enable this header for my total sales and deselect my include zero option so that i can have my relevant access and i'll replace my color to a shade of orange which resonates to my brand color which is nike and i'll deselect my average total sales header or i can just remove this header completely and also i'll hide this label field label from rows once all these changes are done i'll quickly rename the sheet number four as retailer wise total sales now coming towards sheet number five i'll try to visualize how much units were sold of a particular product so if you consider this product detail we in the sheet number five let's let's drag product over here so we have products like men apparel women's apparel women's athletic wear so i want to see how many units of products were sold by a particular product so for that what i'll do is i'll plot this visual in similar bar chart so i can just duplicate this i can duplicate this by clicking right clicking over here and click on duplicate I'll just delete sheet number five and now instead of retailer I'll drag my product over here and instead of total sales I'll bring my unit sold and you also need to drag your unit sold into your labels and now you by default W has taken aggregation as sum you need to replace it by average both in columns as well as in your labels so if you observe when you have duplicated all your label formattings and the colors remain the same now i'll quickly sort my product based on the average unit sold 
so the product having maximum unit sold will be on the top and the product having minimum unit sold will be on the bottom i'll sort by my field in field i'll select unit sold and aggregation will be average i'll select sort order as descending and here we go and i think we are done with this visualization i'll quickly rename this sheet as product wise unit sold now we are done with our five sheets which is total sale across country total sale by sale method total sold unit sold and total sales trend retail wise total sales and finally product wise unit sold finally i'll just check look out after the tool tips so when you hover over the charts you can see there are the tool tips which is state average total sales and total sales i'll, I'll reframe these tool tips so that it can be presentable for your our users i'll remove average uh, i'll keep average total sales i'll remove some of total sales I'll keep average total sales over here. I'll just format it slightly better. Now click on OK and you can see our tool tip has been improved. So you can see state which is Montana and average total sales is 1091. Now considering this uh, we are dealing with dollars. So what you can do is simply click on this drop down. You can, uh, okay, we have, we have forgot to uh, replace our aggregation to average. Now I don't want these tool tips. Now what I can do, now I want to change these tool tips. So I will drag my total sales in my tool tip, replace my aggregation from sum to average. I'll click on this drop down, click on format. And now in numbers, you can see select custom number. Now since we want our tool tips in dollars, which is a currency, I can, I'll just replace my decimal places to zero. And I'll put a suffix as dollars and now you can see when you draw over over the visual you can see montana average total sales is 1091 dollars and i think we are done with this visualization i'll quickly rename this sheet as product wise unit sold now we are done with our five sheets which is total sale across country total sale by sale method total sold unit sold and total sales trend retail wise total sales and finally product wise unit sold Finally, I'll just check look out after the tool tips. So when you hover over the charts, you can see there are the tool tips, which is state average total sales and total sales. I'll, I'll reframe these tool tips so that it can be presentable for your our users. I'll remove average. Uh, I'll keep average total sales. I'll remove some of total sales. I'll keep average total sales over here. I'll just format it slightly better. Now click on OK and you can see our tool tip has been improved. So you can see state, which is Montana and average total sales is 1091. Now considering this, we are dealing with dollars. So what you can do is simply click on this drop down. You can, uh, okay, we have, we have forgot to uh, replace our aggregation to average. Now I don't want these tool tips. Now what I can do, now I want to change these tool tips. So I will drag my total sales in my tool tip replace my aggregation from sum to average i'll click on this drop down click on format and now in numbers you can see select custom number now since we want our tool tips in dollars which is a currency i can i'll just replace my decimal places to zero and i'll put a suffix as dollars and now you can see when you draw over over the visual, you can see Montana average total sales is $1,091. So in this video, we have seen how can we create some appealing views such as total sale across country, total sale by sale method, unit sold and total sales trend, retailer wise total sale and finally product wise unit sold. So that's it for this video. And in next video, what we'll see, we'll try to combine all of these five views into an appealing Nike sales dashboard with some amazing and mesmerizing customization and cosmetic changes. So we will end this video on this note and see you next time.